my name is Teacher Evelyn, and I'm making this video to talk to you about teaching when you're sick to your stomach. I already made a video about when I lost my voice and how I handled teaching that morning. I vlogged between classes. And just a disclaimer, this video is going to be a little bit TMI, so feel free to click away if you can't handle that. But I've been sick to my stomach yesterday and today. Um, my four-year-old was throwing up all day long one day, and then that evening at 12.30 a.m., I threw up and had bathroom similar issues, and then at 3.30, my three-year-old threw up, and then after breakfast, my 15-month-old threw up. So anyway, yesterday, and then to, and I taught four classes yesterday, and then today, um, yesterday, my four-year-old threw up again, and had bathroom issues, and I still am sick to my stomach. I, I haven't thrown up again, but my one and a half year old threw up again. And my stomach has just been churning and churning and churning and I've been taking restroom breaks. Um, I'm sorry that that's TMI, but that's the subject of this video. Okay, so I wanted to talk about surprisingly some pros to teaching when you're sick to your stomach. Uh, with VIP Kid, it's a lot better than if you were a classroom teacher. Can you imagine going to school sick like that? If you were a classroom teacher, you don't get to run to the restroom whenever you want to. You have to wait. Um, you have all these kids that are dependent on you. You're there all day long. So in that perspective, I'm going to talk about some positives. We teach in our pajama pants or yoga pants or whatever pants we want to wear because we're just teaching from, you know, waist up, chest up. Uh, so we can wear whatever comfy pants we want to. Uh, we can sit on a pillow or whatever comfy thing we want to do. Uh, I only teach for three hours or yesterday I taught two hours because I had four classes today I taught three hours which was just six classes so that's done if you get your timing on your classes right you have a five minute break in between each class and so you can run to the restroom I am blessed that my restroom is right next door to my classroom setup so it's literally just 10 feet away and I can run to the restroom and run back between classes. Um, now here's some suggestions. If you're sick to your stomach, um, have a, I had a bucket nearby just in case I needed to throw up. Obviously I wouldn't do that in class. I would probably say excuse me and maybe exit the classroom if I needed to throw up. Luckily, praise God that didn't happen. What I did have to do yesterday was, you know, it's winter time, the heater's on. I was wearing an orange sweater with a black short sleeve shirt underneath. And I was just like getting so hot and feverish. And I said, just one moment, I went off screen. I tore off my orange sweater. I had the black t-shirt underneath and I came back quickly. It was just a plain black shirt. We're allowed to teach in just plain shirts. And then today I remembered that and I wore something lightweight so that I wouldn't get overheated and too hot. So that's a little bit of advice. So yeah, time your classes right so you can have that five minute break. Um, have a cup of water nearby in case you need that to settle your stomach. If you have something that helps settle your stomach, uh, whether it be ginger ale or Sprite or whatever, have that on hand. Um, I would love those things, but I haven't made a trip to the grocery store for that. Um, anyway, but I just had a cup of water nearby. For me, something that settles my stomach is eating an apple, but I didn't choose to have an apple with me in class. Um, obviously, you can't eat in class, but you could take bites between classes. Um, yeah, so though I told you some of the pros that is advantageous, but some of the cons are, um, 
if you cancel within 24 hours, you're still docked $4 per class. If you don't show up um, to class, it's a teacher no-show, which is docked $10 per class, which is not cool. Um, if you cancel outside of the 24-hour period, uh, oh yeah, before 24 hours, I think it's $4 each, right? I could be wrong. I think I'm right. Um, in order to get this turned into soft cancellation where they wouldn't charge you anything, you would have to go to the doctor and get a doctor's note and send that in and follow the instructions on my soft cancellation video, which is you go to the classrooms, you top, you click the top left orange button that says cancellation, soft, medium cancellation, then you click on the class and you have to write, for each individual class, you have to write an explanation and send documented proof like a doctor's note. Um, so yeah, if you don't have a doctor's note, it doesn't count as soft cancellation. It counts as one of your six cancellations. Um, three cancellations in the same Beijing day. That means morning and evening are different days. Um, but three cancellations in the same Beijing day count as one of your cancellations out of the six in six months. Um, but, you know, I needed the money, so I went ahead and I taught, and I powered through, and God helped me. And yesterday I taught, feeling very much like I was going to throw up. Today I taught, feeling like I needed to run to the restroom between each class. Um, but you know what? I made it through four classes yesterday and six classes today, and it's good money. I make $20 an hour, you know, and it's just a short amount of time powering through to teach. The awesome thing is I can't get my students sick, you know? <laughs> my students can't get me sick. Um, I just heard that in China, in one of the towns, uh, all the students have seven days the whole week off of school canceled because the, the stomach flu is so bad there right now. So that's another pro. I'm glad that I'm not in China, but it's a con for them. Poor kids. I hope they recover well. Um, another thing is it's easy to put on makeup and act cheery and they have no clue that your stomach is doing that. <laughs> Ah, oh. <laughs> anyway, that's my two cents about teaching sick. Blah. Hopefully my kids are done being sick, but I have a feeling that we're in the tail end of it. Hopefully we can feel better today. All right. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. Thanks. Happy New Year and happy teaching. Goodbye.